Ay, magandang gabi sa lahat. Uh, time check. Today is... Uh, it's already 12.11 a.m. Uh, Monday. Nasya 20th. Uh, and weather forecast. Ito. Ngayong alas 12 is dito sa Goldborn. Galaman. What? Ayan, I can't watch you. It's 4 degrees. 12, 12, 11, midnight. Uh, before all else uh, or anything else, uh, I would like to invite again everybody na please like, subscribe, and click the bell po para sa next video kung ano man ang video na pwede nating gagawin. So tonight sige, uh, I will I will share you my vocation story bakit ako o paano paano ko na paano ko na pagtanto na na ako ay uh, mag-embrace sa priesthood ko mag-embrace sa pare. Uh, una sa lahat uh, ang ang family ko po sa sa father's side no ay very religious my my grand my late grandfather Enrique Aleria na um, isa siyang layman no sa Catholic Church uh, sa Davao sa Santa Ana no so every Sunday pupunta siya dito doon at mag-serve as a lay minister and uh, ang nawi-witness ko sa kanya always no uh, or the way he trained the family is uh, six, six, uh, 6 in the evening we start na kami ng rosary noon and also nagbabasa siya ng gospel at saka nagda-diary hindi ko lang nabasa yung diary my grandmother then no I is uh, in, involved sa sa church legion of mary ganun sila ng dalawa and also my my father is a knight a member sa knight of columbus no so isa din sa influence sa, sa vocation ko is being religious sa family so yung family namin is very very religious every sunday we go to church no we also pray as a family Nung uh, every, every time na nasa simbahan kami, no, I want to watch the priest na magmisa, paanong gagawin niya. So, naabutan ko din yung panahon pa na uh, may barrier pa yung simbahan na sinasimbahan namin sa Santa Ana na luluhod ka doon at ma-receive ka ng communion. So, doon na develop ang ang ang, ang bukasyon ko yun pa doon pa yun, yun siya na develop pero when i was in my preparatory na preparatory stage of schooling was sa, sa pag-aral no ang ang gusto ko ay iba hindi maging pilot or maging bumbero then since uh, sa mother side ko din ay mostly ingeniero no sa mother side ko o engineer na nasa 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 isip ko din na maging engineer so duwaan ang 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 ang, ang maraming panahon hanggang ako ay nasa grade 6 na no bigla lang pumasok sa isip ko na sabi ko gusto ko magseminary gusto ko magpare Pero nung una, nung noon, doon sa Dabao, wala nang, ano, wala nang seminary. Ba, uh, isa din, background din sa, sa, sa father side ko na uh, my uncle is uh, ex-seminarian. Uh, my, my, my uncle is a priest. Uh, meron kaming relative din sabi ng isang uncle ko na bishop and my dad is a ex-seminarian high school so 
yung dad ko hindi lang siya nagpatuloy kasi determined talaga siya na mag-asawa, no? Ah, hindi ayaw niya ayaw niya magpare. Nung uh, nung nasa grade 6 na ako, sinabi ko mag-seminary. Kaso during sa time sa panahon ng ng seminary days ng papa ko, uh, sh- high school 'yun. Siya na yung ano, siya yung last o isa siya sa sa last batch ng seminary bago i-close ang high school sa Davao. So, ang high school na seminary nasa Cebu. And since ako ay isang bata pa, ayaw nilang malayo ako. So, nagpatuloy ako sa 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 pag-aaral ko sa secular class hanggang na tapos ako ng high school, doon ako nag-start ng ano, ng nagsusulat na ng, ano, ng ng mga congregation hanggang sa uh, pumasok muna ako ng one year sa secular secular studies uh, kinuha ko yung ano parang nag shopping din ako sa sa college kinuha ako uh, engineering first no uh, first semester lang ano tapos ko engineering pagkatapos accountancy ginawa ko accountancy then ano then uh, first or first semester or one year natapos ko sa accountancy then pumasok ako or naka ako ng ng letter ng response from the congregation from the congregation na inapplyan ko then sabi nila na i-gather ko yung mga documents ko uh, and also recommendation from the parish priest and some Catholic uh, proof na ako ay isang Catholic. Then, I, I stay, I think, for a year there sa, 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 sa congregation na iyon. Tapos, parang uh, I didn't pass the formation lumabas ako at nag-aral ulit no ah uh, napadpad na naman ako sa sa IT sa IT then nag one year ako sa IT after one year sa IT nakahanap ko ng isang congregation na nagpadala sa akin sa philosophical studies so I did my philosophical studies na hindi ko natapos yung IT one year lang then na nag-start ulit ako ng formation then philosophical formation uh, natapos yung philosophy uh, nag lumabas ako sa isang congregation then nag-join ako sa is, sa another congregation na ex- extern ang 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 formation for uh, aspirancy so time to time when I was studying uh philosophy at San Jose no mm. uh, nag nagko-contact ako sa kanila no so nung lumabas na ako sa sa kasi nung napasukan ko na na congregation 2 years ako oh 3 years ako doon tapos lumabas ako tapos doon ako sa San Jose nag nagpatuloy na ng ng philosophy then since x x x turn ako nagre-report ako sa isang pari noon then uh, natapos ko yung philosophy sa Cebu sa sa San Jose then pinadala ako for postulancy then after postulancy for a year then novitiate so akala ko yun na yung ano yun na yung yung community vocation na or community na na sasamahan ko habang buhay then uh, we were sent to 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 Manila but before that it uh, the funny thing is um i'm not good sa kwan sa vocabulary no uh, nagtake kami ng entrance exam ng ng Loyola School of Theology tapos under siya ng Ateneo so yung yung entrance exam na kinukuha namin is Ateneo. Okay yung ibang part ng ano ng 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 entrance exam 
pagdating sa vocabulary, doon ako, doon ako kinakabahan kasi. So, ang, hindi ako magaling sa vocabulary. Tapos mostly of the words na nakita ko doon is uh, bago, bago sa akin. So, I did not, I did not, uh, I did not hope or I did not expect na makapasok ako sa Loyal School of Theology. Lo and behold, after we finish our novitiate, uh, I am uh, I am accepted or I am dalawa kami na accept sa 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 Ateneo or sa Loyal School of Theology na provisionary. So I stayed uh, for a year sa Ateneo. Then I had the crisis. The crisis. Ako sa 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 vocation ko. Akala ko na na pag-asawa talaga yung yung buhay ko. So I left. Uh, I left and asked for the dispensation of my vows. Kasi nag uh, nag nag vow na ako noon uh, as a brother for a year. So pagkatapos ng dispensation, no, I did many secular things, nag networking, nag training sa yung parang call center training school, and also nag training ulit ng ng uh, parang mabilis ang o intensive training for uh, IT, no, IT and troubleshooting sa sa computer. Lo and behold, um, kasama ko sa o kaklase ko sa 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 Loyola School of Theology, no, na naging pare. Sa so, so, papay ko, bakit ang ano bakit ang aga eh hindi pa naman kami tapos ng ano ng 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 theology. Bakit uh, bakit naging ordain siya ng pare? So, invite niya ako, pumunta ako ulit sa Manila na come and see no? and na 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 na, 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 na lang na I was I, 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 I am ordained there and become deacon and the following week become priest but yung tito ko nalaman niya na uh, this group is a bagantes or this group is not really uh in, in in communion with the catholic church so ana sabi niya na wala kang wala kang ano diyan wala kang future diyan hindi maganda yan at saka hindi ka secure so that, that time i do not know na yung tito ko pala na isang ex priest from from Davao na naging pari na sa sa orthodox church no Uh, he was accepted by one of the canonical bishops sa, sa US. So, sinabi niya, meet this priest. Uh, kaklase ko yes, siya sa, ano, sa, kasi kumuha ulit siya ng theology after his theology in, in, uh, in previous theology sa Catholic para ma-refresh yung theology niya in line with the Orthodox Church. So, nag-come in see ulit ako minute ko si minute ko yung pari na mag, nagiging mentor ko na nag-train nag-train sa akin nag nag formation nag naggawa ng intensive formation sa akin no so that's is way back 2000 2011 so na meet ko yung bishop nila and they invite he he invited me together with that mentor na pupunta ng ng ano ng 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 Australia just to to to, to get exposed no kasi so slowly slowly pinag-aralan ko yung pinag-aralan ko yung Orthodox Church I try my best to read to research sa 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 internet and also to ask questions to to the to that mentor uh that mentor priest who helped me uh immersed sa orthodoxy. So when 2012 came, we we went to we came to Australia 
by the invitation of uh, the late bishop. So, in, I was surprised no? na just just a guess uh, on that on that on that for, uh, on, uh, on on the symposium because that was a symposium of 2012 na i was so blessed and happy na na experience ko yung mga services ng ng orthodox church na in in flesh in flesh talaga surrounding with uh, orthodox uh, Orthodox blood, no? By birth. So, masaya ako. After the symposium, uh, the late bishop told me na i-ordain kita at the end, uh, i-ordain kita at the end of the... So, it was it was a blessing na naging uh, first Filipino ako na na-ordain dito sa Australia no? at binalik sa, sa, sa Philippines. Hindi... Um, bakit 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 uh, bakit naging orthodox ako way back sa bata pa ako no uh, probably high school or or elementary na naririnig ko na yung yung the late Russian patriarch Alexei the second pero hindi ko alam na na, oh, na orthodox pala siya so Lo and behold, nandito ako ngayon sa sa Orthodox Church. And it is a great blessing na mapabilang no, uh, nadala or na-invite ng Panginoon or inalaw ng Panginoon na ma-orden sa isa sa pinaka-ancient na simbahan o sa pinaka-ancient na tinayo after uh, after uh Pentecost na no? oh during pen after Pentecost ng or the foundation of the church is Pentecost so nagkaroon na ng mga major sinbahan then laking laking salamat ko na sa Panginoon na when you are called no when you are called by God it's not determined for me it's not determined by by a priest no but it's determined by God's grace and mercy. Na kung ikaw ay isang pari talaga, isang isang tinawag talaga sa bukasyon, God will lead you and at the end of the day, He will put you where you are. He will put you uh, in the service and even though you are you are not worthy. But, magkos to make up then. So, uh, as an Orthodox, uh, six years na akong Orthodox, as a priest is seven years as a priest. Uh, I'm trying my best pa rin na because as orthodox kasi, the more you learn, the more you, you do not know because God has many, many more to teach us. We ha- uh, The more, God has many, many more to, to show us as long as you are open. God has many, many more. It doesn't, the learning, eh, eh, or the, the theological learning does not stop at school, does not stop uh, when you graduate, but it's a continuous journey, it's a continuous learning, no? Yung, yung, yung mystical. Hindi natin matanto ang kabuuan ng Diyos, but God revealed through Christ, no? So, as we as we study theology, we do it in the light of Christ. Kasi siya yung incarnate son ng, ng incarnate son ng, ng, ng Panginoon. No? God incarnate. No? Uh, ano ba yung sabi ni sin, I forget the, 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 the theologian, yung homo usios. No? So, Yan yung ano vocation story ko na first it started with the seed through my grandparents my mom and dad no? and and also I try my best to develop, to, to 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 shower the seed 
vacation. Naging sakristan ako for four years ata, five years. And I enjoy a lot. I enjoy my experience, my formation way back. Yung sa Roman Catholic as a religious brother, as a religious missionary. Eh, hanggang nakarating ako sa theology, hanggang lumabas ako, ngayon naging orthodox ako. Uh, it's a blessing to have that formation. Uh, and still continue to continue praying na sana maging kaaya-aya ako every service that I I I I I I I, 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 I serve, no? Sa liturgy, sa mga prayer services. Because for me, over all, all, all in all, I'm I'm still not worthy. But in behalf of my unworthiness, uh, God calls me to serve. God allows me to to hold His His holy body and blood. Uh, so, yun lang siguro yung vocation story ko. Kung may tanong, kung may parang hindi yun yun masyado na na intindihan, no? Uh, and bakit mahaba ang buhok ko? Kasi in 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 one of the tradition of the Orthodox Church, but it's not implement, no? Uh, since the Holy Fathers, the hermits, the monks, and the old people in the Scriptures, even in uh, even in the in the New Testaments, the saints, no? May mga balbas, mahaba ang buhok. No? So there are, there is a deep explanation about that. Uh, so in my in my in my uh in my little knowledge diko ma explain masyado no but what uh even Jesus Christ no so and i love and i thank god na hindi pala ako sa hindi pala ako mag-aasawa pari pa rin ako sa para uh, para sa bukasyon talaga ako na para sa bukasyon ako priesthood in his grace no and i ask continue his prayer uh, continue his uh, ask in prayer i ask continue his grace to preserve me and worthy servant and also i ask your to 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 remember me in, in your in your prayers no kasi kung wala ang prayers niyo hindi madali hindi madali ang buhay uh, o bukas yun isang pare hindi ibig sabihin na napagtanto mo napag-isipan mo gusto kong magpare yun na yun but it's responsibility commitment and faithful and patience love and humility as as, as a priest uh, so sana uh, you you will include me in your prayers uh, and uh, shout out lang always to Father Luke uh, St. Pacomius Mission to Brother Patrick, Catherine and Kira to uh, Brother Jeremiah Brother Paul um, Brother Daniel Brother Panagiotis Sister Maria, Sister Sara, Hope, Hilarion, and yung gustong uh, magtanong kung ano yung Orthodox Church at saan yung Orthodox Church, please comment and message me so that I can direct you sa Pilipinas kung saan kayo pupunta na Orthodox Church. So, sa, sa Philippines, uh, reminders again na there are only three existing canonical Orthodox Church in the Philippines which is Greek, Antioch, uh, Russian, Metropo- uh, Russian Patriot, Moscow, uh, and Rokor. Uh, this is both Russian, no, ang Moscow Patriot, saka Rokor. And there is no Filipino bishop sa ngayon. Ang pinakamataas na rank sa Orthodox clergy in the Philippines is Archimandrite and High Monk, no? Sa, sa sa ibang bansa sa US meron na tayong mga mga paring Pilipino no isa na din yung tito ko 
na orthodox. So, let us continue to pray. No? Uh, for the church, that uh, may God continue to, to guide it. Through the intention of the Holy Mother of God and the Spirit of us, and of our Virgin Mary and of all the saints, have mercy upon us. Amen. Thank you and good night. Paris Santos.